No building owner likes to dedicate expensive building space to fuel storage tanks. In many urban environments, however, they are a practical necessity. Needless to say, storing fuel inside buildings has its hazards, so the involvement of the local fire marshal will likely be early and often. Tanks inside buildings are required to be at the lowest level. This can mean four to five levels below grade in some high-rise structures. This location makes it difficult to transfer fuel, to fill the tank, and to the point of use. Vent pipe routing can also be a challenge if the fire marshal requires that emergency vents be piped to the building exterior. The fill station should be located away from points of public access and at least five feet from building openings. Piping from the fill station to the tank location should be double walled with leak detection. It should be routed with a slope toward the tank for drainage. The point of use is often some distance from the tank location, since generators inside the building are often at or above grade or on the building roof. Gravity return from generator day tanks is preferred, and this can be difficult to route through the available building spaces. Again, the fuel supply and return piping is typically double walled. Some of the important coordination issues are, the tank rooms are typically fire-rated construction with dikes or curbs to contain leaks or spills within the room. Access and exit from the room needs to be planned carefully. The tank rooms may have special requirements for dedicated ventilation with special requirements for fire conditions. Also, pipe routing through the building, especially riser space, needs to be coordinated. The tank rooms may be considered a hazardous electrical area by the fire marshal or insurance carrier. The fuel system equipment needs to be rated for this classification as well as lighting, ventilation, and all other electrical devices. Tanks and buildings are typically steel horizontal tanks with integral supports. Rectangular tanks are often used because they have a smaller footprint for a given tank capacity. Tanks need to be contained by either double wall construction or room construction that provides for diking. While tanks are sometimes fire rated construction, the fire protection is often provided by the room construction itself, allowing for the use of a standard steel tank. Tanks in building will always have the normal vent pipe, typically two to four inches, piped to the building exterior. Some jurisdictions may require that emergency vents for the tanks also be piped to terminate outside the building consuming valuable riser space. You should find out very early in the design phase what the local fire marshal will require of emergency vent terminations.